The Coldwell Banker Community Foundation searched for over two years to find just the right cause to get behind. Then we discovered the Autism Council of Utah, and we also discovered that autism affects one in 46 children born in Utah. I've had the pleasure of meeting the Dickinson family, and I'd like to introduce the Dickinsons and their son Hagen to you now. My name is Kobe Dickinson, and I am a wife and mother and um, fighter for a good cause. We are here today talking about autism because my youngest son, who's seven, Hagen, has autism. And these are my three older kids, and autism is a daily thing in our lives. It's a living thing in the fact that um, it puts us on our toes every second of every day. Um, there's a little bit or a lot of anxiety that rests inside my heart. Um, the fear that Hagen could run away or has ran away and been lost or laid in the street climbs on top of the fridge and all of the cabinets to open any medicine bottle he feels necessary to chew on um, are things that we are constantly running after him for. In the country, the numbers for autism are 1 in 68. That's higher than childhood heart disease, diabetes, and cancer put together. In Utah, it's 1 in 46. The Autism Council of Utah has been a great support system to us. We've gained a lot of friends and uh, a group and a place to go for information and to be a part of a community that we didn't know there was one before we were all diagnosed with autism. Um, in a sense, one child is diagnosed with autism, the whole family deals with it on a daily basis and in different ways. I think that any time a family receives help and support and encouragement and education, like the Autism Council of Utah gives, the child benefits in every way. One of the great things about the Autism Council of Utah is that it's in Utah. It supports Utah. The funds that we raise stay here in Utah. All of us that work for the Autism Council work for free. The way we fund and help support the community is through donations, through fundraising, and incredible companies like Coldwell Banker that are giving to this organization for us to give back and to give all the money where it's needed here in Utah. Some of Hagen's favorite things to do is jump on the couch, play around in the basement, and get on the counter, he's very happy and energetic and he always has a smile. It, <laughs> it reflects on me, like if I'm ever sad, I can look at Hagen. He doesn't even understand what's going on. He's happy just because he wants to be. It makes me want to be a better sister and be happy because I have such a wonderful life and I'm so happy that I get to be related to him. Some of the favorite things um, I like to do with Hagen is just play with him. The most simplest things. I like to watch his little videos with him because whenever he's happy, I'm happy. It does mean the world to us. When he says a word, I all of us just glow up and we're so happy. It's, it's really amazing to see all the amazing things and the simplest things that my little brother can do. My favorite um, thing to do with Hagen is do jiu-jitsu with him. So you wrestle with him? Mm-hmm. Autism helps us see little miracles that happen every day. There's not a day that goes by that we have seen the little things that people probably usually take for granted. Um, a hello and a look in the eye is something that means the world to us. Meeting that beautiful family and others like the Dickinsons made us want to get behind this cause and take it out to the community. So we've organized a bike ride called the Coldwell Banker Parkway Pedal, which links the Legacy Parkway and the Jordan River Parkway all the way from Farmington to Bluffdale. And it will be a ride where we can go out and raise money and get pledges and have a great time. 
and we invite you to come on out, to volunteer, to, to participate, to get pledges, get donations, and get behind this cause. Watch for more information to follow.